guys, welcome back to my channel. Bee. Hop in that motherfucking farm, and I'm gonna fucking be wrong. So, what is up? How is everyone doing? Today, I am filming a pretty long awaited video, a very requested video. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram, if you guys have not caught up with my most recent videos, you may or may have not noticed that I have purchased a new car recently, and I did get a lot of questions about it because I haven't been super vocal about it. I haven't given too much detail because I've kind of been waiting for this video specifically specifically to just kind of actually show you guys the car no more sneak peeks you guys are gonna get to see the whole thing in today's video so I decided for this video I'm gonna show you guys the car for the first half we're gonna give you guys a car tour outside inside and then for the second half of the video I'm gonna answer very frequently asked questions about like why when how that type of thing so if you guys are interested in seeing the car tour only I got you guys on that and if you guys would like to see the car and know why I did it and everything like that just keep watching until the end of the video I actually decided to film this video in a very special location because I'm actually filming it in the exact space I filmed my last car tour at which was about a year ago I had just recently purchased a Civic and I got it wrapped and I was super excited to show that to you guys give you guys a tour outside and inside and so I thought it would be really cool to come back with a major upgrade just because things have changed since then we've grown and here we are we're back and we're better I'm gonna give you guys a car tour you guys are gonna finally get to see the car so let's go ahead and start with the outside I'm super nervous and excited to show you guys but let's get into it I have my phone on top of the whoops so let's just take that off but we're going to start with the front of the car so in case you guys do not know what model car this is this is a 2019 model Mustang GT premium that's what type of Mustang I have I did get questions on what model I have and that's the model I have this is in the color need for green and then these stripes that are on the car came when I got it this is a stock color stock style I did not put the stripes on the car myself that is an option but that's not what I did this is the natural paint job color I haven't done anything to it some of you guys may know that I did wrap my last car so a lot of people were asking if I plan on wrapping this one and the answer as of now is no for now i'm gonna stick with the green i absolutely love the green i did get questions on why i decided to go with green i just feel like it's a way to stand out it's a bold color but it's a lot less intense than the wrap i had on my last car i just think slime green is a fire color and that's why i decided to go with the green but this is what the front of the car looks like i am in love i saw this car and it was over like i knew this is what i wanted i knew there was gonna be a few things i was gonna want to change about it but whenever I first saw it and I test drove it, I knew this was the one. So this is what the front of the car looks like. We got the slime green color. We got the stripes here. We have some ventilation here to help cool off the car, but then it also gives it a very sporty look. We got the grill. And as you guys may notice, my Mustang on the front is black because I did switch them out, not myself, but I did purchase black emblems for the car. I just feel like the black on black looks really good and I feel like it gives it a more sporty look and it just looks really clean so I decided to switch from the silver Mustang to the black and I am in love with it I like how it's glossy and it goes along with the rest of this glossy black on the front of the car we got the honeycomb design here I am not a car enthusiast I really like cars but I'm not gonna know like every single perfect term. I'm still learning about my car every day. I am super interested in learning about it, but I do not know everything as of now. So, but this is what the front looks like. I also love the headlights. I love how slender they are. Yeah, that's what the front of the car looks like. And as you guys can see, this is what the side of the car looks like. It is a 5.0, so you know we, we race in. The 5.0 emblems, I also did black out. They used to be silver and we went with the black. And my tire, and these are actually not the stock tires or rims. I knew whenever I got the car, I was going to want to switch out the rims because they were just the stock rims and they had like the silver accents on them, which was not my favorite. I knew I wanted to black out some things. I just feel like it really brings the car together, makes it look really clean. So I decided to go with these rims, which I really like along with the tires. I like how the tires have a very low profile. It's less tire, more rim. I feel like it gives it a really sporty look when the rim is kind of the main focus rather than a bunch of tire. Cause on my last tire, there was a lot more tire and it just didn't look as sporty. These kind of give you a nicer grip to the road and make you feel like you're more in control. I definitely felt a difference whenever I started driving with these tires. This is what the rest of the side 
of the car looks like. I do have my windows tinted. That is something else I have had done to the car recently. I have 15% tint on front, back, and the other side. And then the front has no tint. Whenever I first got the car, there was absolutely no tint on it. And that was not gonna cut it. I do not wanna drive in a fishbowl. So we decided to go with the 15%. On my last car, I had 20%. So that's 5% lighter than I have on this car right now. I knew I wanted something a little darker than 20% and I didn't even know that they did 15% I thought it just went from like 20 to like 5% but once I learned that they had a 15% option we went with that personally honestly I don't see much of a difference but I definitely like it you can see that someone's in there but you can't just stare yeah that was the goal as we keep going back my gas tank here I really like because you just press on it you open it up and you just stick the gas pump right in there instead of having to unscrew anything. It was like that on my Civic as well, which I thought was super convenient and it just makes it really easy to pump gas. So we really love that option. So then we come to the back. I think the back is my favorite part of the car. It's a little dusty, even though we literally just cleaned it before we got here, but it's spring, pollen is here. So it already has pollen all over it again, but it's okay. So as you guys can see on the back, I have a spoiler here and this isn't the original spoiler that they had on the Mustang. The original one was much smaller and didn't come up as high and it kind of blended in with the green color and the stripes because it was just a part of the stock style. But I decided to switch it out and go with this mattified black spoiler, which I like a lot more. I feel like it gives it a much more sporty look. I like how this mattified black spoiler kind of goes along with other black accents I have on the car, which are also mattified. So I like how it matches. This definitely made a big difference when it was put on the car and then whenever you come down here it has the GT right here and it's a little dusty but as you guys can see the GT is also blacked out I blacked out all the emblems so the GT is also blacked out and I love how it blends in with the rest of the black on the back I just feel like it looks so clean yeah had to do it i definitely like this a lot better than the silver and then the tail lights are something i love about the mustang they just look so good and that turn signal is what i live for the turn signal on the mustang this is what the tail lights look like i'm absolutely in love with them i was actually thinking of tinting them you know blacking out the tail lights i feel like that would look super good then all of this would be black and i feel like that would look I don't know if they're ready for that, but I feel like that would look really good. And then also, as you guys can see down here, there are four exhaust pipes, which is fucking fire. My Civic had two exhaust pipes, and obviously that car is not built like a Mustang. Some four exhaust pipes definitely do what they're supposed to do, and I'm in love. Then you come to this side of the car, and of course, it's the exact same as the other side. So as you guys can see, windows are blacked out, got the green color, and another feature I really like like about this car is that it has your little blind spot mirrors right here my Civic did not have the blind spot mirrors and I really like it because whenever you're switching lanes you're able to just look right here to see what's right beside your car of course it's still safe to look back but this does help a lot and it's not a feature I had on my last car I feel like that's like a safety feature that is just really helpful when it comes to driving I also like how the stripe goes across the whole car it literally starts down here and it goes all the way up all the way on the top then it comes all the way past the grill all the way to the bottom of the car i like how it goes across the whole car it doesn't stop right here or anything like that i feel like it just makes it look more natural and like it was made to have these stripes on the car so now we're gonna go inside the inside is something i love about the car i like how the car it looks very sporty but the inside looks pretty luxurious it doesn't look like what you expect a mustang to look like on the inside um so we're gonna open it up here. The glove compartment is open, that's ghetto. So whenever you look inside, we have the Mustang right here. And whenever it's dark enough, it lights up at night whenever you open the doors, which is so cool to me. And also whenever it's dark enough, the car will project a Mustang onto the ground, which I think is so cool. But yeah, whenever you look inside, as you guys can see, there's light interior. Mostly everything else is black. And I think this combination looks super clean. I've never had light interior before and I absolutely love it. It's like this creamy color, this creamy tan color, which I love. The seats are leather and they're super comfortable. I feel super comfortable driving in this car. I like how adjustable the seats are. As you guys can see, I sit like this. I'm pretty leaned back and this chair just hugs you. And I also like how you can adjust the car automatically. My last car was manual, which is completely fine. Adjusting the seats was manual, not the actual car. So this is nice. And you can also lift the seat up, 
you can lower it that's a really cool feature and then this is what the steering wheel looks like I love how thin the actual wheel is it makes you feel like you have a really good grip on your car you have a lot of control which I really like has the Mustang logo in the middle and then I don't even use the majority of the buttons on the steering wheel but we do have volume right here you can switch the songs here. You can completely mute the music there, which is good. If you're talking to someone, anything like that. This is the windshield wipers, um, turn signal here. This isn't like a how to drive. Um, but you know, we got that. And then we also have our little, I guess I could hold it for. Oh yeah, you can do that. Inside here, we do have our AC vents. I love how these look, even whenever they're completely closed. <laughs> They just look really good. I just like how they look, even whenever they're closed. Over here, we got the Mustang here, which I love. We have the glove compartment here, which is really nice. I like how it kind of opens up slowly, because my last car, you would literally open it and it would slam onto your knees, and it was the scariest thing ever. And then over here, it's still leather on the doors. If you look closely, there is LED inside the handles as well, along with the cup holders, along with down here. Whenever it gets darker, it's a whole vibe in the car, which I love, and you can also change the colors of those. Right here, we just have the volume. This is just working the AC. We also have heated and cooling seats, which is such a good feature. I've used both since I've had this car. We have the push start here and just some other controls down here. Yes, I have an automatic car. Don't flame me. I'm still so open to learning manual, but that's not what I purchased because that's not what I learned to drive. And even if I did know how to drive manual, I wouldn't want that to be my everyday car personally. But I'm also 18 and didn't grow up with manual. So don't flame me. It's a nice ride automatic, but I have heard that it can be a much different experience manual, but that's not necessarily what I was looking for so then we have the passenger seat over here which is exactly like the driver's seat it has the adjustments on the side and it's also super comfortable and then the back seats here nobody's really sat back here maybe once really don't be having people in my car like that they're like their own seats and they also hug you back there as well they look pretty comfortable I've sat in them before and I could definitely be vibing back there but it does get a little tight if the person up front wants to lean back as you guys can see there's literally no space so so they'd have to scoot up obviously if you're looking for like a family car or a car that's super good for everyday driving with more than one or two people in the car definitely not the best option for that but i am still very young i don't have a family of my own the most i would drive would be like my siblings maybe like a friend or like my boyfriend so yeah wasn't really worried about that but yeah this is what the back seats look like and i love how the window kind of comes over the seats a little bit it's really cool whenever you're sitting back there i got my bag and an umbrella over there umbrella is super good to have in your car especially since spring is coming it's been raining here almost every single day and it's kind of sad but that's what brings the beautiful spring flowers everything that grows in the spring needs rain so that's what i keep telling myself but it literally rains every single day pretty sure i'll be okay though but that's what the inside of the car looks like give you guys one last look oh also this is speaker this is speaker this is a speaker that's a speaker, that's a speaker, and that's a speaker. I think that's all the speakers in the car, but the sound system in the car is super good, especially for not having anything installed. In my Civic, I did have subs installed in the car, which obviously gave it a big bass boost, but in this car, the bass is actually really good alone, and I actually like having less bass because I'm able to fully enjoy the music without the bass completely taking over the song. The bass did get to be a little too much. I mean, if I woke up with a sound system in this car, I would not be mad, but I'm probably not gonna go out of my way to put one in this car. Also just because the way a Mustang drives, that shit would be flinging around in the back and I don't know if I want that. So yeah, I'm chilling for now. The music is really good in the car without anything added to it. But yeah, that is what the car looks like. I'm in love with the lighter interior. It's nice to film in because it doesn't look like I'm bald and I just think light interior looks super, I don't wanna say elegant, but just classy and I'm in love. The most comfortable, but it's fun car to drive right now we're gonna go ahead and start it up for you guys so you guys can hear what it sounds like when it starts up I'm gonna rev the engine a little bit and show you guys what the turn signals look like all that type of stuff and we'll just go from there so let's go ahead and start it up i put 2,000 miles in this car and i've had it for like 
a month. <laughs> so now we're gonna rev the engine and keep in mind this is just stock, like this is what you get without adding anything extra to it. That is fire to me. Yeah. Fucking no, bro. <laughs> running and running and running. Running and running and running. All right, guys. So now that I have showed you guys the car inside and out, I'm now gonna sit down with you guys and answer some questions that you guys seem to have about this whole situation. It did kind of seem just spur of the moment, and people had questions, which is totally understandable because I haven't really answered too many questions about it yet. I've kind of kept it on the down low, not necessarily trying to hide anything, but I was waiting for this specific video to really sit down talk to you guys, answer any questions. I just wanted to give you guys everything all in one go. Instead of answering questions here and there and then people still wanna know this, still wanna know that, still wanna see what the car looks like. So I just decided to put it all in one video. So I have the questions here on my phone. I asked you guys to ask me questions on my spam account to answer in this video. And I collected what seems like the most frequent ones. And that's what I'll be answering today in no specific order at all. Also, I am filming this part of the video in the car as well because I just felt like it was fitting. So the very first question I'm answering that somebody asked is if I'm keeping the car green and I kind of touched on this earlier in the video because I was thinking about this question because I knew people were asking about that and I think the main reason people are asking about that is because on my previous car I did have it wrapped not only did I have it wrapped but it was like a psychedelic holographic wrap that I put on my car. And so I'm sure people probably thought since I went all out on my last car, they're wondering if I'm gonna do anything similar or something different since I did completely change my previous car's natural color. You may be wondering if I was gonna do the same thing to this car. And as of now, the answer to that is no. Honestly, I don't really see myself changing the color of the car at all. One of the things that did draw me to this car was the color actually. People were asking like, why'd you get a green car what made you pick green i like the green because it stands out it's a bold color i've always been a fan of slime green way before this car so whenever i saw it on the mustang i fell in love it's just a color that i like and i think it's super sexy so that's why i decided to go with the green i just thought the green with the stripes on the car just look really good together i would definitely say this is one of my favorite colors i just feel like it's a pretty color honestly and that's that there's really no other explanation on why I decided to get the green. It's just because it's a color that I like. Whenever I was looking at Mustangs, I was debating between getting this color or they came out with a super beautiful, brighter orange color. Whenever I was looking at Mustang, the bright orange color was actually, the first one that I was super interested in was that really beautiful orange color. But the reason I didn't get that was because it was out of my price range and that would be pushing it. But this car I found on a different dealership's website. I'm sure the color didn't play a huge role in the price but there was just something different about this car that lowered the price. I don't know, maybe it wasn't upgraded as much, but that really wasn't what I was looking for when I wanted a Mustang. I knew I wanted a GT, but that was really it. Like, I wasn't looking for any crazy add-ons, so I'm sure that car had a little more to it, but I did also really like the green, so I decided to go out and see what this one looked like in person, and it was 10 times more beautiful in person, and I fell in love with the green. I still absolutely love the orange, but I feel like the green is just really fitting for me and I love it and have no regrets. So the next question I got is what kind of car is it? And I did also mention this earlier in the video, but just in case you guys 
don't remember, it is a 2019 Mustang GT Premium. So the next question is, why did you get another car? So I got a lot of questions, pretty much asking the same thing, just kind of rephrasing it. But I would say this is the main question because of course, you guys see me with a car that I just recently purchased about a year ago. There was nothing wrong with it. It was a great car. It was in great condition. There was nothing wrong with it. So people are wondering, why would you get a new car if the other one was just fine? So there's really not any specific explanation on why because no, there was nothing wrong with my other car. No, I did not need another car. If I was in different situations, it may have not been possible for me to make this decision right now. But since I am in the place that I am in when it comes to what I do to receive income, it was of course a little bit easier for me to to make this move than it would be if I was doing something else or I didn't have you guys be a part of this process because if it was not for you guys if it was not for you guys watching my videos constantly supporting me and literally getting me where I am today I would not be able to make this decision so I just wanted to put that out there that I am extremely thankful for everything that you guys do for me and being super supportive of what I do and just being consistent with me means the world and this decision would not be possible without you guys so when it comes to why I decided to do it, honestly, because I wanted to, I knew I was going to upgrade my car at some point. I knew the Civic was not going to be the car I was going to have for the next five years. Whenever I purchased the car, it had been talked about multiple times that I would probably only have this car for a year or two until I decided to go on to a new car. Just because that's how I am, I'm always making decisions. I'm always, I wouldn't say upgrading, but I'm always, just always making moves. I knew this was going to happen at some point. I knew I wanted a muscle car. I knew I absolutely loved Mustangs and this decision just kind of came sooner than later i was in the position where this could be a choice for me i was in the position to where this could happen sooner than later so that's what i decided to do if i knew this purchase was going to have a negative effect on me was going to hurt my bank account in a negative way i would not do it and i did purchase this car with my own money and i am able to make my own decision and my parents know that and they support that and they know i wouldn't do anything especially in this nature as in literally purchasing a car they know i wouldn't do it if i wasn't in the position position to and if I didn't think it was smart yeah that's really it honestly the main reason is just because I knew I was going to upgrade my car at some point and it did happen to come sooner than later did it like a year earlier than expected but also a year ago I did not know where I was going to be at this point but that's really it that's what I decided to do I still loved my last car I still totally recommend Civics as a first car they're super safe great quality car I, I absolutely loved how it drove amazing experience but that doesn't mean I can't like another car and go with that one so that's why i decided to do it so the next question is do i still have my old car if so are you planning on keeping it so the answer to that question is no actually the value of my previous car definitely helped me in the process of bringing this car home i did trade in my civic for this car and that covered around half of what this car was worth what i had to pay for this car that's what made it easier to bring this car home was trading in my last car because since i did only have it for a year and i did take good care of it it still was worth a good amount that i would be able to put into this car so i did kind of pay for like a good amount of this car with my other car so i kind of sold it to them and instead of me keeping that money it went into this car if that makes sense so no i do not have two cars at 18 i do not feel like that is necessary of course if you're in the complete position to do that by all means do it but for me that was not logical and yeah that would definitely break the bank if i was trying to keep two cars there's really no reason so like once again i'm getting a question that says why did you get a new car what was wrong with the other one i already went through that just because i did bring another car home and i traded in the other one it doesn't necessarily mean there was anything wrong with my current car i loved my current car but i also did like mustangs and i happen to like them more so i decided to trade it in and upgrade so this question says why did you do so much detailing with your first car just to end up getting a new one if you guys aren't aware to my last car i did have it wrapped like i told you guys earlier i also did have a sound system installed and also led lights so whenever i had all of these things done to my last car 
I had no intention of purchasing a new car anytime soon. That was not in the back of my mind. I didn't make those decisions thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna go purchase a Mustang six months later. That did not cross my mind at all. Whenever I had my Civic, I had certain things I wanted to do to kind of upgrade the car. And whenever I was in the moment with the current car I had, I decided to make those upgrades. There was no telling I was going to bring a Mustang home like what, six months later? So I was kind of just enjoying my ride at the time, making the best out of it. And I I don't really see like an issue with that not like she said there's an issue with it but it makes sense like why'd you put this much money into this car when you're just gonna trade it in but whenever i traded in my civic it did still have the wrap on it so if the person that purchases that car likes the wrap they can be whipping the civic with the wrap on it as well it just won't be me driving it and as far as the sound system i did have that taken out so i will be able to sell that and then the led lights they're still in the car and once again that's something the next person that purchases the car can enjoy if they would like it's still being used just not by me and i'm sure those things added value to the car which is a plus so that's the best answer i can give to that question this question says did you have to finance it or were you able to pay it all off up front so the answer to this question is that i did finance the car like i told you guys earlier i did trade in my civic which allowed me to pay for around half the value maybe a little less of what this car was worth and the rest i will be paying off for the next couple of years and the good thing about this is that it'll allow me to build my credit as soon as I turned 18 I made it a priority to get a credit card as soon as possible because credit is super important and you're really not able to do anything without a good credit score or having a good credit score makes things a lot easier when it comes to everything literally to make any decision a good credit score is important since I plan on paying for this car monthly and paying for this car on time monthly that is going to boost my credit score a lot and help me grow a healthy credit score over the next couple years so along with my car payment my house payment those are both things that are really going to boost my credit score most things that you're gonna pay on time are going to boost your credit score so that is a plus i'm not saying you need to finance a car to build a credit score but it is going to definitely improve that and it was just a smarter decision for me to pay for it monthly instead of paying for it all up front because i just didn't have to do that i knew for my first car i wanted to do that but since this one was a little pricier and that really wasn't my intentions with this car to pay it all up front that's not what i did so this question says what percent tint do you have and i have 15 percent tint not all around but on these windows the quarter windows and the back windows so the next question says is it used or is it brand new this car is used it's a 2019 so it's around a year old and it had 13,000 miles on it when i purchased it so it was not brand new but still in amazing condition and do not see anywhere on the car at all so that's actually all of the questions i screenshotted that i planned on answering in today's video i really hope i was able to clear things up i really tried to explain everything thoroughly so you guys get a better understanding and can kind of understand where i'm coming from there was nothing wrong with my old car but i did decide to upgrade because i was in the position to do so and once again that would not be possible without you guys at this given time so i really appreciate you guys so much i have worked for what i have but i am aware that i am privileged to do things that not everyone is able to do especially at this age i'm very aware of that and I just want to make it clear that I am very thankful. I did not do this out of a sense of entitlement. I made the decision because I felt comfortable to do so and it was not going to affect me negatively and that's why I decided to do it. So I hope you guys are able to understand that. But that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This video was so fun to put together. As of now, I've put together the car tour part of the video and I absolutely love it. And now I'm going to head inside and start putting together this part of the video. But if you you guys have got all the way to the end and you have not subscribed yet please make sure to do so also if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye